obviously, you know, playing for the team, you sometimes have to sacrifice and everything for the team, including yeah. this year. Um, yeah. <laughs> hopefully, you know, it's not too bad. It was kind of scary for us to see, you know, from the bench and you're down on the ground. But, you know, what was that whole moment like? <laughs> well, 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 um, I don't know. There's something French people call déjà vu. I'm a goalkeeper with the Super Falcons. Um, have here with me my wonderful roommate, Desire Paranozier, um, who I'm sure I've been annoying in the room already, but I'm happy she's my roommate. Yeah, your girl here, Desire Paranozier. Who's your favorite roommate you've had so far in all your camps? Oh, don't put me on the spot. <laughs> don't put me on the spot. I mean, I've had um, great roommates, amazing, each and every one of them, and um, I, I can't say this one is the best. Don't put me on the spot. That's a good diplomatic yeah. answer. You're trying to set okay. me up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, this is your first campaign in Nigeria, and uh, how has it been for you so far? Um, it's been great. It's it's good being in Nigeria, being able to represent the Super Falcons on you know home turf. So I'm excited about it. And the food, and the food. Oh, I've been chopping swallow. And <laughs> <laughs> Which one is your favorite? Um, definitely pounded yam. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good and to know. And egusi soup. Good choice. Yes. Good choice. Mm -hmm. Swallow is always the favorite. It's the same for me too, but not pounded yam, but fufu for me. And then we have this um, native soup. It's uh, specifically from my hometown. We call it Ofo Wiri. Okay. Yeah, it's not, um, I mean, just for people from my side of town, it's a specialty. So it, that's my favorite. Okay. You should try it one day. You're going to make it for me, right? Of course. Okay. Of course. Since you're one of the most experienced Falcons players, been playing for a long time, since 2010, how have you been able to maintain and keep in shape? Well, um, it's, um, I mean, it, it's, it's always been the grace of God, you know, and the consistency and, um, you know, the, the, the zeal to, to succeed and always be at the top of your game. So those have always been what's been driving me all these years. I can't even believe it's been over a decade already. It seemed like yesterday, you know, and, um, you know, I've always wanted to be on top of my game. And that's one thing that has helped me, you know, kept me in shape all these years. And um, I mean, I'm still here today on top of my game and still, you know, being 100% each time I'm being called upon to represent the country. So it's always an honor and, um, you know, just wanting to, you know, wear this color, you know, to to, to represent my country is, is a thing of joy. It's an honor and, um, you know, it's it, that's what drives me the most. And uh, I'm happy I'm still here up until now. Okay, so, and and for you, what, what what's the dream like for you? Do you want to be here on the long run or you just want to have a, you know, short time spell? What, what, what is it for you? It's always been a dream to play for the Super Falcons and the fact that I'm even here now is such a blessing and, you know, it's all because of God and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm honored and, you know, grateful to be here, but it's not, oh, I'm here and I'm happy and I'm content, right? I, yeah. I want to be on the team for the long run. Obviously, the, you know, playing in the World Cup is, is the goal and the dream, yeah. but even beyond that, um, you know, I want to I want to be a part of the team and for as long as I can be here. Makes so. sense. Makes sense. So obviously, you know, playing for the team, you sometimes have to sacrifice and everything for the team, including yeah. this year. Um, yeah. <laughs> hopefully, you know, it's not too bad. It was kind of scary for us to see, you know, from the bench and you're down on the ground. But, you know, what was that whole moment like? <laughs> well, 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 um, I don't know. There's something French people call déjà vu. You know, it's it's a reoccurrence of things like this, but this is actually not my first time. You know, I've given so much for the nation. You know, each time I get on the field wearing the shirt, it's, I mean, it represents 
it means a lot. It represents so much for me, and I'm always, you know, giving my hundred percent and all of that. This is actually the third time I'm breaking my face for the country. <laughs> you know, the first one was in the under twenty. The second one was with the senior team somewhere in Senegal, and you know, um, recently now. So that's to tell you. I mean, it's sweat and blood for me, giving everything at every particular time, every point in time. That's what, it, how much it means to me, you know. And even that day, I was even willing to keep playing, you know. But the medical, the doctor helped me make that decision, you know, that you no know, desire you can't get back on the field like this. So that's what it meant for me to, you know, serve this country. So it, it's um, it's always um, an honor, really, really a great pleasure to you know represent this great country. So for someone like you that's been here for a long time, like what would your advice be for someone that maybe wants to come into the team, or someone like me that's new that you know finally is able to now be here and represent the country and wear the wear the colors? Oh. Well, I will always use myself as, as a case study, you know, I will tell you, I mean, I didn't just get here overnight, there were times I I wasn't even, you know, the I, I was still, you know, coming in like the younger ones now. And my advice will always be to stay level-headed, you know, uh, pay attentive to the older ones, to the coaches, be attentive at all times and, you know, make sure there's something you're bringing to the table. That's very important. You know, when you know your onion, trust me, um, and the, the sky will be your starting point, you know, then uh, have a goal, know what you want to achieve, know what you're bringing to the team and stay hardworking, consistent. That's the watchword. Consistency is the key. Thank you for watching the Super Falcons on NFF TV.